Okay, I have the elevator attached to the table via some 2 by 2 by 8 inch angle iron and I welded the angle iron onto the actual elevator itself. However, I just bolted it to the table and I did that because if this doesn't work, I don't want to end up cutting it off, but it should work fine. But um, I just wanted to bolt it on and and instead of welding it and I didn't want to grind the paint and mess all that up either. So I just bolted it on. Um, now, as you saw, I cut the sprockets. The sprockets I am putting on um, onto the half inch shaft or the all thread here. And I put a nut on the bottom and the nut is to just level it out because, um, I mean, that's the way it's cut. So this will level it out while I, while I weld it. Um, I'll weld that on and then I'll actually take the nut off or, and won't need that anymore. And I measured from a common point in this case on the top of the, uh, the foot of the gantry here, I guess, uh, not the gantry, the X axis. I measured down to the middle of the sprocket here and did that for every single corner as it's the common point. It was better than doing it off the floor because there's more weight on this end of the table and it, it flattens the uh, wheels just a little bit more down here. So I wanted to come off the top off of a common point and I set the sprockets in their locations on this corner, this corner, and the far corner over there. Um, that corner is actually going to have two sprockets on it and I'll show you that later. Okay, to wrap up this update, I'll just show you the progress that I made tonight. I, I decided to go ahead and give it a, a call it for tonight. Um, but again, here's the elevator welded to 2x2x8 two by two by inch um, angle iron, bolted directly to the frame. Um, on this end, I actually have the bolt all the way, it goes all the way down. Here is a uh, just a Holder, I guess for the bushing the bushing is right here and below the bushing is the sprocket which has been welded on and it connects via chain over to a sprocket on that side we'll move over there and here is another holder for the bushing and this one this one's actually great anyway the, the sprock the chain comes around here there's another sprocket up here that chains to the other corner way down there. Um, as you notice, there is a little bit of a sag in the chain, but that is as, as tight as I can get it um, currently. So what I'm going to do in order to take up some of the slack, I think right behind this angle iron, I think I'll put in a couple of washers. And I think if I put in a, maybe one or two washers on this side and one, one and two washers on that side, it'll tighten that chain up significantly. The chain won't come off as it sits, but I'd like to tighten it up. And then I went to why I put the chain on this side, however, I guess I just thought they were going to share the sprocket or something, so I messed this one up. So I decided to call it a night for that reason, but what I'm going to have to do at this this time is um, I'm probably going to have to make two repairs. The first one is, is replace the all thread in here which is no big deal. Um, I just got to cut a new piece and make it a little bit longer. And I'm going to have to do the same in this one because this sprocket no longer lines up with this one. Um, well, it does currently, but this one's sharing with the one over there. So now I'm going to have to drop the sprocket down, the second sprocket down below, and then uh, move this one down a little bit lower just so it can catch in. And then on this side right here in the middle somehow, I'm going to build the mechanism to raise and lower it all together. Anyway, there's the two elevators on this side and I will provide more updates as they come. I'm getting close to being done. Oh, before wrapping up, you can see I have the elevator right here, slightly below this area, which is where I'm going to pick it up from. Not the bottom black, but the top black. And I will end up putting angle iron well, most likely angle iron here. I'm not, I haven't decided exactly, but it's going to basically bridge between here and here. This CNC machine will then bolt to the piece that is welded to the elevator. I'll do that on each corner and then we'll give it a shot. So sometime next week, hopefully I'll wrap it up.